cyumweru gishize last sunday kwagejejweho ijambo ry'Imana we received the word of god numukozi w'Imana w'umushitsi with the servant of god who is a was a visitor mu bintu yatubwiraga and among the things that he spoke to us yatubwiye ibingibi these are the things that he told us ngo kubaha no kubahisha Imana mu kazi bikingura indi miryango to obey and to make glorified in our work it opens doors yatubwiye ngo iyo nyine utunganije bike usabwa biguhesha umurima munini kurenza wo warufite if you put in line the few things that you have you are even given a, a bigger field than the one you used to have yatubwiye ko imana ntikunda gukorana numunebwe and he told us that god does not like to work with a lazy person yatubwiye ko mu byago namakuba umuntu ukorera imana ahari ho hose mu murimo wari wose iyo yashyizweyo ni imana ibibazo ahura nabyo imana irabyirengera kandi ramurengera and amidst our tragedies whatever you may go through god will come to your rescue mu magambo make so in a few words yatubwiye ko gukorera imana he told us that serving god mu kazaka ariko kose and whichever work you may be doing niyo wabukorera ibihembo even though you may be working for a wage nabyo imana ibibamo cyane god is involved indeed yes ashimwe rero praise jesus nubwo ari umukozi w'imana ukora mu biro akaba n'umuyobuzi even though he's a servant of god who works in an office and at the same time being a ceo ariko yabwiye n'umuhinzi but he told a farmer yabwiye n'umworozi he also spoke to a farmer yabwiye na nyakabyize and even the one who works for a mahame yavuze the principles he spoke about na mahame dutaha na burya are principles that we retain ibituvuze bireba umuntu wese aho yakora hose and what we have just said concerns everyone wherever that person may be imana yacishimwe cyane may our god be praised indeed hanyuma none uyu munsi ndi kuki So what am I focusing on today? Come wholeheartedly in your work. Wes. Wholeheartedly. You should not work with reservation. You should not come with reservation. But come wholeheartedly. I'm not the one asking you this. Imana ni kwishaka. But that's the will of God. Witanga wese. You should give yourself without any reservation. God should see you wholeheartedly. Ikakwishimira wese. And he should rejoice with you wholeheartedly. Ikaguhindura. And transform you. Ikaguteza imbere. And make you prog- make progress. Ukishimira ibyo ushyizeho amaboko byose. And you rejoice in whatever you lay your hand on. Umwami Yesu nashimwe. May our Lord be praised. Umurimo werejwe Imana. So the work has been sanctified for Kuva the Lord. Ni umurimo warejejwe numutagatifu. From Eden work has been sanctified. It is holy. Unukuvuga ni kintu cy'Imana. It is something that belongs to God. Ni kintu cy'Imana. It belongs to God. Gukora ni ibintu byashyizweho n'Imana. Working has been established by God. Kuva Imana ariyo yashyizeho gukora. From the fact that God is the one who established work. Gushomera kwawe. Your joblessness. Gushomera kwawe. Your joblessness. Kubudafita kazi. The fact that you don't have a job. Ukwiriye kubibaza. You need to inquire from God. Kuko Imana. Because God. Ni itanga kazi. He is the one who gives work. Yishimiye ko abantu baba banyakazi. And he rejoices for people to be busy working. Yashizeho ko abantu bakora. And he has the the fact that people should work. Bagatungwa namaboko yabo and be sustained by what they do with their hands. Natwa bakora mu rusengero. Even us who work in the church. Yashize uko bakora ku gicaniro. And those who work on on the altar. Ifite uburyo izaje nyuza ku gicaniro tugatungwa. And he has a way with that altar that we are able also to have what Impande zose yarazitekereje. So he has thought about all aspects. Niba uyu munsi udafite akazi. And if today you don't have a job. Ngufite inkure byiri. I have two messages for you. Uko ndeba muri Bibiliya When I look at the Bible Mbona ko impamvu ushobora kuba udafite akazi ari ukubera ko Imana ifite ibindi iri kwikubwira. The reason why you don't have a, a job God has something else he's telling you. Ubwo no buryo bumwe. That's one way. Kuko kuva yarashyizeho akazi. Because the fact that God has established Yareje jumurimo. And has sanctified work. Kuvu udakora. If you are not working Nibibizi kabivyemeye. If God is aware and has accepted Ugo, that. Ubwo ibyo urimo muriho murabivuganaho. It means what you are involved in you are communicating. Ubwo muri ibyo imvyo ni gutyi gushatse muri kigi. That's how God wants it. 
But if God is not involved, because it is possible that in your joblessness God is not involved, because he wants a person to use his mind and arms and be able to do it. I'm challenging you, telling you this. If you are not working, if God is not involved, go back to him. Go to him Yibaze. and inquire from him. Yibaze. Ask from him. Nichi what, what is happening? Koko because if God is not a part of your joblessness, there is an issue that you have with God. That is also the good news that I have just said. That, that is good news. There is an issue concerning you. I don't want to take time uh, talking about issues that may happen. Because I'm not you. I'm not God. But between you and God, uh, you have an answer for you. Yes, Praise Jesus. My friend, therefore, uh, please listen to that message. Unless God is giving you a break. Unless you agree with God that your time has not yet come. Otherwise God has sanctified you. And out there there are so many things to do. Including yours. Oh, Give a hand clap to him. Uh, You should not be angry oh, yeah. at him. Don't be angry at God just because I'm working. Kubgiye. Go back to where I've just told Igui you chiz. so that he can give Kani you a good explanation kunyur. and you'll be satisfied yes, by that. Praise Jesus indeed. So work has been sanctified there. If work has been sanctified, here's another message that I have shaka for runaka. If God wants to bless a particular organization. If God wants to give a blessing to a particular office, he sends a person. You are a gift. Say, I am a gift. You are a gift. You are a blessing. You are also a blessing where you are. You are a blessing. Say, I am a blessing. Say, I am a blessing. You are a blessing somewhere. Uh, there is a place where you are a blessing waiting for you. And there is a place where you may be and bring transformation. Uh, please connect all the things that I have just said. Uh, joblessness. While I am a blessing. Joblessness. Or at the same time, I'm not Please connect the two things in the name of Jesus. And get a revelation of what you're supposed to see. You are a blessing. You are a blessing somewhere. There's a place waiting for you to be a blessing. There's a place you're supposed to go to and be a blessing. And something else I'm saying. Now because we are gifts, we are gifts. We human beings, we are gifts. That God positioned somewhere so that that place can make progress. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. So think wide and see it in that perspective. That is why the Bible tells me that when Joshua walked with the Lord, he said, wherever you're going to step, wherever you will step, you realize that things are obeying you. And I, I commit that place I give that place How can you go somewhere when you are a visitor and then you gain in that place? It's because of the one who is here. It's because of the one who walks with you. It's because of the one who has positioned you. Say the one who has positioned The one who has positioned The one who has placed you in that place. Yes, That's Jesus indeed. So even though you are a blessing, even though you are a blessing, and if you are a benefit to someone, 
God does not just speak anyhow people. God does not just send people anyhow. God does not just position people anyhow. Oh yeah. No. Imana na yo muri recruitment yayo. God in his recruitment process. Mukutora bakozi. In selecting the Mukuplasa workers. bakozi. In positioning workers. Igira condition ni minzan. He has a condition and scale. If the condition he has condition. If it moves on. And he has a scale. To come as a together nation. Let's continue to work together. Iman niiri mobin. When God is involved into something. Iman niiri muri rokrito machangwa mo kuroba no rabakos. When God is doing a recruitment. Abari bobos. Whoever they may be. If it a condition. He has condition. If it a criteria gender. He has criteria to follow. If it moves on. And he has a scale. Owa moves on in a condition za yozi to move and go over jahariya. And that scale and its conditions, God may say, you, say you go here. Even though it may be a job of only one day, he knows where to Because even those people you are going to suffer only one day, they are known in heaven yes. and they need the blessing of your hand. Beloved. Uh, to, when our revelation, <inaudible> the way we see uh, work, <inaudible> the way we see work, <inaudible> when we have that sight or that perspective, in the morning I, talk, I gave an example of a person who has gone <inaudible> from gardening, <inaudible> a, a, a laborer of one day, even that laborer of one no day, it is a blessing in that garden that yes, has gone to, no to work in. It is a blessing. It's not just any, something that happens. If you have gone to work for someone, and knowing that you are a blessing as you go, and say that is the reason why God has given me work in Honestly, Honestly, you are going to be blessed. You are a blessing indeed. But here's the issue. Uh, when you go there and say, I want to go to see whether they are What you are looking for is just money. What you are running after is to receive But uh, that garden, or if you are a Muslim, we are doing it in the wrong way. If you are telling but you are doing it in the wrong way. If you are only focusing on your salary and not knowing that it is God who has positioned you there to be a blessing, you are wrong. Man. we are children of God. And we are filled with the Spirit. And whatever we lay our hands <inaudible> on, we should do it with our hearts. And wherever we have gone to, even though it may be a job of four hours, even though it may be just for four hours, do it wholeheartedly if you're working. Praise Jesus. I'm saying this in words, but it is not easy to understand. But I understand, when, I like it when the word of God comes uh, to substantiate things. God, therefore, he has measures. That is why Cain and Abel, both of them, brought their sacrifices, but the one of Abel was accepted and the one of Cain was not accepted. Both of them worked. And all of them worked hard. But the fact that they have worked hard doesn't necessarily mean that, that they are working to be There are conditions. There are measures. Uh, offerings of God. And the way you commit yourself to God. Uh, that he uses to measure you and to check whether you are wanting or not. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. Please be attentive. Please be attentive. That is why when God was looking for a king of Israel, Samuel bought someone who is handsome called Eliab. 
cyangwa umuhanuzi ukome aza no muntu aravuga ati nukuru yuwe ni wewe ni we rwose ugiye kuba umwami w'igihugu cyitwa Israel Even though he was a great prophet he thought that is the man who is going to be the king of Israel Muri yo position y'umwami And that position of the king Muri yo position yo kuba umwami And in that position to be a king Mwijuru hari umuntu bashakaga In heaven there is a person they were looking for Hari size y'umuntu bashakaga There is a size of a person they were looking for Hari uburyo bw'umuntu bashakaga And there is a way of getting that person Imana ikirebere yabo When God looked at Elia Ibwira Samuel innocent yabivugaga nko kuvrema iramubwira ati uziko wirebe ubwiza bwe wirebe ikirereke namugaye and god say don't look at how he is handsome and his stature but have despised him abana babantu murebe ubwiza mureba hanze ariko je uyo njya kureba ndeba imbere mu mutima human beings we, we just see things outside but i god i look inside uzikweri yabo ntabwo yari umunebwe Elia was not a lazy person. But he was fitting in another position. position ya fitting He was fitting in another position. But he was not fitting in that one of the king of Israel. Who is listening to me? Nibu kinyumva urahitukura ubyumve uti mana mfite aho nkwirwa mfite na hatarahanje You understand there is a place fit for you and another one which is unfit Eli abu yari mfura yari umukozi nawe Eli was also a hard working person Ariko uwo mwanya But that position Iyo position That position Iyo ntebe Ah uh, that seat Ibipimo byie ntabwo byaremewe iyo ntebe Ah his measures were not created for that seat Niya mpamvu witeka yavuze ngo That is why the Lord said I have seen a person after my own heart on that throne or Now those seats that you go to occupy as well, those positions that God sent sends you to If you know very well that you have come together with God Uzamenye cyo Paulo yandikiye abakorosaye. And you know what Paul wrote to the Colossians. Ni mukorere mbata, ni mukorere bashobuja nk'abakorera shobuja mukuru ari we Yesu Kristo. And he say you servant work for your masters knowing that you're working for their masters. Uzamenye neza kwishimira ho baguhaye. And you know how to be happy where you are. Koko hara handi mana ya haguha. Uh, because God can also give you another Aho position. Aho. But where he has positioned you, that is the right place. Aho Aho. That is the right place. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. I'm going to tell you another person. Uh, one time, there was a, a, a nation that God was closing. Was, was uh, God was watching uh, Babylon closely. Why? Kuko Babylon yari igikoresho kiza cy'Imana icyo gihe. Because Babylon was a good tool of God at that time. Kuko Imana yashakaga kugira ngo ihane abayisraeli ikoresheje Babylon. Babylon rero yaje cyane hafi y'Imana icyo gihe. God wanted to use Babylon to punish uh, Israel and God was drawing closer to Babylon. Bari bafite umwami witwa Gabirushazari. And they had a king called Belshazzar. And one day, God told Daniel, go and tell the king that uh, I put him on a measure. I put him on a measure. And I realized that he's unworthy. And uh, he, he should be removed. He's not worthy. Because of the blessing of uh, upon blessings and Babylon. There is a place where you, you, you fit so well. Whichever work. If you apply for a job. And you realize uh, you get a job uh, telling you that you had not, uh, did not get that job. If you have understood this lesson. You should not weep. You should not weep. You should not weep. Because that job does not belong to you. If you have understood this, there is a seat 
there is an office of yours uh, there is a part time job of yours there is a particular place cause you. if you put in order the things that I said earlier and you realize that in your joblessness God is not involved uh, put in order what God is telling you uh, so that God can quicken you to receive your new job yes, Jesus. God has conditions. In this word of his, he has a condition of positioning you somewhere. And he has criteria to follow. He has things that he looks at. And, and his criteria yeah. are different from those of human yeah. beings. What God looks at is different from what people look at. And he does not look like the people look at him. He can see inside. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. Amen, amen. Let's read. How did Paul uh, say it? How did he put it? Paul told the Romans and he told them that from the time they were saved uh, there is a, a, a war in their ministry. They are, are wrestling with their carnal nature together with their hearts. Uh, fighting the carnal nature working in their bodies and laws is difficult. And he explained it very well to them. Starting from chapter 8, up even to 9. Ten. nyamara uh, Jesus did something on the cross, but uh, there is a wrestle going on between the flesh and the carnal nature and the spirit. And that battle, you know it. You, you've been saved and been uh, sanctified by the blood of Jesus. But sometimes you see wrong things in you. And sometimes you see wrong things in you. Those are the same things he was talking about. And then in chapter 12 he said, and he said, that is that. He said, therefore I beseech you. If you know the mercies of God that you experience, if you know how you've been forgiven in Jesus Christ, Offer your bodies. Release your bodies. To be a living and pleasing sacrifice to God. And that is the right way to serve him. That is reasonable worship. That is reasonable worship. Let's read quickly. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And you see how the body is coming in. In the journey have walked so far now, you, you can see where the body is required. You cannot be productive where you have been positioned if you have not yet committed your body to God. Because the body... Uh, uh, there are hindrances that go through it. It will tell you you are going to fail to handle that job. It will tell you that you are tired. It will tell you that they have a bad salary. There are so many things that the canon nature will tell you through the body to tell you that that is not the right place for you. You cannot serve God 
bakora hano In the morning service I gave an example of those who work here Wumva uzaririmba ari ku mutima wawe no mubiri wa utabiha Imana Maybe you want to sing but you are not giving your body and heart to God This is the second time I've been coming back to this It is impossible Icyo gitambo ntabwo Imana ikemera That sacrifice is not acceptable Uzahagarara ruririmbe ubiri cyuya ari ku Imana ivuga iti iyo shize muri bya bipimo na wa munzane ntushitse you will stand here and sing and sweat but God will, when he will put you to his measure he realize that you are unworthy because what I'm looking for is not for your voice I, I, I'm not looking for the instrument you use to play music I want you to, to commit yourself to me I want to see you I want you to have you as my belonging. Don't give me the things you are good at doing. Don't deceive me with the things you are good at doing. Don't distract me with the things you are good at doing. What you are doing. The things you are good at. I rejoice if I also have your body entirely. Are we still working together? Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. Hallelujah. Say, give me your body. Give me your mind. Give me entirely so that I can transform Because in your body, in your mind, there are wounds. There are things that are things you put in your background. You remember the things you went through and you say, I want you to fix. At times you look at your ability and you say, I'm not able to do this. But give me your body. And I will use it well. But this is how we do it. We say, God, I'm good at cleaning. Wow, and say, do you want cleaners? Wow, and say, or do you want people to send uh, to the border? And they say, I am good at walking. I'm good at cleaning. But you need to get a revelation that even a petty job, you need to do it with God. So as we proceed, people are not clapping their hands. No. I will do the same as well. Why? Because as we proceed, we realize that what God is after is not our offerings and sacrifices. He needs them whenever you have also come along. That is why today's uh, topic is come without any reservation. Come without any reservation. You should not say, God, I'll give you this, but I'll spare this. I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about treasure. But I'm talking to you personally. And Paul said, uh, uh, the people at Corinth, uh, those at, from Macedonia, first of all, they committed themselves to the Lord, and then they committed themselves to us. You commit yourself first to Jesus, as you commit yourself to Jesus, and you did with, with zeal, He'll find the right tool to position wherever he wants. Friends of the cross, please change. We are going to pray. I'm taking a break that we can pray. And then we continue. Together. And where the Holy Spirit started from, God is, does not necessarily need our hands. Or money and the studies as you think. God is not af running after those things. He's the one who gave them to you. But he's after you. He's looking for you. 
He's looking for you. That is why Paul told the Corinthians. It's not the offerings that you are bringing that I'm looking for. But we want you to commit to God as those who have been risen. Now when you get that revelation, you cannot boast and say I have worked hard. There's nothing you can do. You'll be speechless. You'll be speechless. We are going to read in First Corinthians uh, uh, nine, and then pray. Please listen to me. Iyo mgiriza ubutumwa singira icyo nirata. Kuko ari ibyo mpatirwa gukora. Nsunikwa gukora. Ndetse ntavuze ubutumwa nabo ni shano. Iyo mbikora mbikunze ndagororerwa. Ariko iyo mbikora ngo nonwa mbitewe gusa nuko nahawe ubwo busonga iyo titre nzagororerwa iki? Nuko rero iyo mvuga ubutumwa mbuvuga ku buntu. Nakurikije rwose ubutware bwanje bw'umubwiriza butumwa mera Yesu amashya. For I preach the gospel I have nothing to boast of for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. For I do this willingly, I have reward. But if against my will, I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What is my reward then? That when I preach the gospel, I may present the gospel of Christ without charge, that I may not abuse my authority in the gospel. Praise Jesus indeed. You have heard what Paul said. I've been made a preacher by heaven. And even though I've been given that position no, by heaven, even though heaven has given me that gift, uh, I don't do it when people have to beg me. What drives me there is passion that drives me. That's what drives me. I don't do it expecting a reward. If I do it willingly, I'm going to be rewarded by the one who gave me that Please word. Please continue to listen. But if I work complaining, I even where the leveler works from. And even the one uh, who, 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 who buys, or the person who has gone to work for another person. If you are complaining, or God is saying in heaven, where should, should you expect a reward? Why are you waiting for a, a reward? Who can give you a reward? You are doing it against your will. You are doing it against your will. You are doing it complaining. You go to work complaining at the end of the month and you receive a salary. You don't like it. You don't want it. According to God who gives word, and then heaven says, you and I, when we work such way, without the zeal, without the passion, uh, complaining, and the Bible says, woe to that person who works. What to, to that person who works unwillingly? And such person, you and I included, where should we expect a reward? Beloved, what a word. Why are we looking for a reward? Because we don't like what we do. We don't want to do it. We do it as if it is against the will. Love is not involved. And we don't keep in mind the one who has positioned us there. We don't think about it. But we can see it. And say, oh Lord, I want to pray like Ezekiah. Remember my works. Which ones? Which ones? The ones you did with passion, that's good. The ones you did wholeheartedly, that's good. But there are others, when heaven look at them, they realize that you are complaining. I positioned you 
in that place but you are complaining nakari akazi nubwo baguha umushahara ariko nije wakohereje ngo bimpano ube umugisha ariko urago nonwa that job even though you get a salary from there but i've positioned you there to be a blessing and to be a gift but you are complaining Let's pray to God. Because God is going yes. to change things from today. God does not speak in vain. When we know the truth. When we have understood the truth. It sets us free. It yes. Us. That's the truth. When you get this information. And say, Lord, this is how it is. This is how you do it. Because he rewards us for even works we are not aware of. God can come and reward us for the things we don't know when we did them. But he follows this. Even those people that you nah, work and, for, you and even that place where you worked only nah, for one day, one day. And even that part of the job you did for nah, seven nah, days. Nah, or the, when you went to that particular place. When we have understood that we are ambassadors and servants of God, we Because the one who observes more than bosses is observing him. That is why, therefore, let us pray. As I pray, you also pray in the Mana data mu izina rya Yesu ndagushimiye. Utubwiye ibyanditswe bihamya neza ukureba abagukorera. Umaze igihe utubwira ko abagukorera na baba hose no mu mama mu rugo no mu papa no mu nyeshuri no mu henzi no mu no twara taxi mwami nujya mu isoko no mu directeur wahantu no mu yobozi wibigo byinshi Mami, no mu president w'igihugu umuntu wese wese yahishuri kwa wamuteretsa aho hano abari umukozi wawe niyo mpamvu nawe watubwiye nyene ngo twe gukorera abadatabuje ahubwo tubirenge turebe databuje amukuru wo mwijuru mana ndagusaba ngo mwizina rya buri gera dushoboze duhindure urabizi dukunda ngo tugororere turakora tukavunika hakabi ibihe bikwiye nibidakwiye umutima ari gutekereza ngo ntacyo bitwa henda korera imana izangororera ariko mana ugororera abakoranye umutima mwiza ugororera abazi ko ari wowe bakorera ugororera abo batagutegerejemo ibindi bihembo tubabarire mwami igihe cyose twategereje umushara aho watwohereje iyo kontra tukazi sinya mwami Yesu Kristo tukumva dukore umushara ariko ducitinga hagata aho ngaho tutanakoze hagata aho tudakora pe mwami Yesu tubabarire turaba Kristo ngo utureba wa mbere ni wowe ni wowe uzi mwami ko waduteretsa aho hano ngo wahadushyize ubizi neza ariko uziko na berusha zari buri wari wemeye kwa umwami uziko tujya twitwaza ngo nibi imana yabyemeye ku cyumuntu yananiranye Wari wemeye kwa bumwami ariko birangiye ngo no nagupimye ntugishitsi igendere mana nyamara ndabizi neza urahemba mwami hari imirimo myiza ujya wibuka ugahemba abantu batanabizi pe ndakwibutsa mwami mbabarira mwami nzamura urwibutso rwa bagukora neza hano abitwara neza mu kazi abitwara neza aho wabateretse mwami abakora neza ibyo bitoya abakora hirye hose mwami uyu munsi Mwami ubibuki kandi ubabwire ngo uko bakora urabize noneho natwe twese udufashe duhindure tumenye mwami ngo uhemba ntabwo ari abantu abantu yabagiye guhemba bahemba nabi bahemba nabiki ni gace y'abantu bamenya mwami agaciro k'impano bohererejwe ndagusaba rero mwami ngo uzenguruke utwibutse uduha mutima dukore tugutekereza mwami Paul atubwiye neza ati ahubwo ni ishyano niba ntavuze ibi bintu niba mbikorera ko mfite titre yitwa umuvuga butumwa titre y'umushumba titre y'umuririmbyi niba mbikorera ko mbyitwa naba ngowe mwami ushima ngaho mwoka wera nyanyagira uvuga ibirenze ibyo tuvuga usobanura ibirenze ibyo bamaze kumva kugira ngo uyu munsi twese tubohoke tumenye amabwiriza yo kugukorera mu izina rya Yesu amen amen exode uh, Exodus. Mungu tatu na gatano. 
chapter 35. Uh, how did God do it in the past? So please let us listen to this. Let's listen to what God said in the Old Testament. Uh, let's listen to what God said in the Old God said in the Old Testament. Uh, let's listen to what God said in the Old Testament. Uh, let's listen to what God said in the Old Testament. Uh, let's Yuko iminsi itanda tubaza kora bakeza umunsi wa mbere bakeza umunsi wa gatandatu anyway niba mutabikoze ntacyo aha Mose ateranye iterano rya Israeli ryose arababwira ati ibi nibyo uwiteka yategetse ko mukora mu minsi itandatu imirimo igikorwa ariko wa karindwe ujyubabera umunsi wera isabato yo kuruhuka yerejwe uwiteka ugira umurimo wose azawukoraho azicwe iterano rya Israeli ryose then Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said to them, These are the words which the Lord has commanded you to do. Work shall be done for six days, but the seventh day shall be a holy day for you, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work, it shall he it shall whoever does any work or need shall be put to death. Amen. What am I, uh, do I want to tell you based on this? Uh, whoever works, a child of God, it is impossible for you to work all the seven days. We are no longer under the law of Moses. Moses. Uh, the Sabbath uh, told us the rest that Jesus gives, but if you do not spare or put aside one day, uh, a rest to obey God. But in addition to this, working all seven days, without putting one day aside to go and worship your God, when you are a child of God, uh, it is a shame. It is a shame. It is a shame. You should not be forced to come and worship, but you should say, Lord, I have worked for you for six days, but I have spared this one day to come and thank you for all the things you have done for me. Brethren, I have seen people who put aside, who refuse, who deny job given to them on Sunday. A job on a Sunday, they will refuse it. Because it is a day of honoring God. It is a day to come and worship. Beloved, your bosses may instruct you to do so. And on the other side, uh, they are expecting us to obey them according to the word of God. I'm talking about children of God, but if you are busy all the six days, you're in this, and even in other things, even other things you are for, and even the people you want to visit, you do it. You have done all the things that you want. But the day to come to, to, to worship God, you say it is the day to go and make your hair. Uh, even, even in the past, I've been saying this to the how comes you don't spare one day in the other days that you have but you know that Sunday is dedicated for the Lord? Give a hand clap to the Lord because he is worthy. And you say, my, my car is damaged. And, and you go to serve it on Sunday. So it means that the, it has an So it becomes an idol when you take it to the garage. How comes you wait for Sunday to do such things? When you know very well that you may do that on a Saturday, for example, I'm talking about those who worship on Sundays. 
Imana yaravuze ngo But God said Ndemera ni mukore I accept yes you should work Ndewe wahakaze I'm the one who gives you work to do Ariko mugira gihe muhagarara nange nararutse namwe ni mujye mugenda mujye kuramya mu But you need also time to rest and worship the same way I did it Benedat Brethren Ntabwo mpatinda I don't want to put too much emphasis on this hajije. But this is enough you need to look at the reasons why you don't come and worship God. And you'll be able to see what you like. And those reasons will show you what is dear to your heart. And what you give more importance than God. Now because you know that in the gathering with others, you're able to get life that sustains you spiritually. Because you say I'll put a break temporarily to what I do and go and fellowship with others and then resume my work. Now what I've just said connect it with where we started from. I connect this with job and joblessness Your job should glorify God. Your children should glorify God. Don't use your children and, and spouse to despise God. Or say my husband doesn't like this. And now because we are not at your home, we are agree with you. Now because we don't know the, the family of my wife but God knows that you are able to give them another day how comes when it comes to God you always exchange with other things how comes when it comes to things concerning God you, you get another appointment Brethren, I get all this from this passage. May God help us in this. So let's continue to read in Exodus. And connect this with the joblessness we talked about. Exodus. Uwemejwe nawo wese bazana maturo batura uwiteka yo kuremesha rya hema ryibonaniro nayo gukoresha imirimo yaryo yose nayo kuremesha ya myenda yejejwe and all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses then everyone came whose heart was stirred and everyone whose spirit was willing and they brought the Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle of meeting and all its service and for the holy garments. 29. Twenty-nine. The children of Israel brought a free will offering to the Lord, and all the men and women whose hearts were willing to bring material of all kind of work which the Lord, by the hand of Moses, had commanded to be done. What is the Lord saying here? From the past, God has been saying, whatever you bring to God, your studies that you bring before the Lord, your money that you are bringing to God, your cloth that you bring in the church, uh, people in need that you have, your own possessions that you give out for the sake of the kingdom, for the sake of the house of God, and for the kingdom of Jesus, and from the Past. God told Moses, and this is how you should uh, choose what you receive. Re receive from those who give uh, uh, willingly. Everyone who is convinced, who comes when they are convinced, when they come from themselves, when a person commits himself to sing, he should be or she should be convinced. 
If that person wants to join the protocol team, that person should give the offering being aware of that. If you are called to come and do something, think about it and it should come from you when you make your contribution. And Moses said, beware, such person who is not fully committed, uh, you know, give that person a break. Have you seen how God is serious? Did I invent this thing? I'm also challenged by Even this. Even though I'm teaching this, I'm also challenged by this. And from the beginning, God showed how things look like. Your are failing to do my work because it is a mixture of those who are working willingly and those who are doing it against their will. But he told Moses, these are the things you should be doing. A man and a woman, and even a young man and a lady, whatever offerings they bring to you, be sure and know, check whether that person knows what he is doing. Is that person doing it when they have really thought about it? Is he going to do that willingly? Brethren, what does God want to put aside? Uh, complaining. Uh, doing something dragging your feet when it really does not against your will. Friends of the cross, you and I, starting from today onward, we don't serve God only here in the church. No, 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 no. No. But where you work from, where you work from, and the people you work with, where you go to work, and also come here, so wherever, wherever, if you keep in mind that God has positioned you there just because you fit because you know it is God who has positioned you in that place yes, praise Jesus so work as the one who is working for the master and think about it. Because even God, if he wants you to shift, he is going to start with you. And here's the issue. God is above and he also is looking at even your own bosses. And from the past, God said, I don't want an offering of a, a person who is doing it against his will. I don't want a person who does things against his will. I don't want my house to be built by a person who is doing it unwillingly. No, 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 no. You need to distinguish those who do it knowing what they are doing and those doing it without knowing what they are doing. That is why, friends of the cross, even, though, even when you go to do a, a job, even though they may have uh, 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 signed the paper for you, you need to sit down and reflect. Am I going to obey? Am I going to work for them? Because God realized that you are the one who brings profit because you are a blessing. God, do I accept to help that organization make progress? Am I really involved? Or my focus is only on getting my salary at the end of the month. In the name of Jesus Christ, you need to shift from that place from today on. Please, you are children of God. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. So wherever we go, let us bring visible transformation. 
umukozi w'Imana yatweretse erega ntabwo bivuga ko aho tuzaje tutazahura nibibazo It doesn't mean that where we go we will not encounter challenges Ntabwo bivuga ko tutazahura nibitunanize It doesn't mean that we won't encounter with challenges Niyo mpamvu twatanze imibiri And that is why we have the, we given our bodies so that God can command them and say you will have may spend the whole night with him, but in the morning you rejoice please go and work you should not go to work just because you have remembered that your children will go to school remember that God has positioned you and he keeps in mind that they are still in that place so whenever he sees you in that place continue to work working for him and see even when there are challenges and God may say you are not going to change things that are happening here but in the meantime there is God that gives a job and continue to follow closely those he has given a job I hope that you have understood that from the past God told Moses to make a proper selection you should not be the one to force people. Let people do it willingly. Let everyone do it willingly. Let everyone know the, the Lord is serving. Because he's the one who's going to give that person a reward. When God has positioned a person somewhere, that person starts uh, like Mordecai. I talked about him in, in the morning session. At the gate. When he was a gatekeeper. But he was not selfish. And he gave information uh, to protect the king. And the Bible tells me they inquired and realized that what um, he said um, is um, true. Um, when a person gives you information, you should not just swallow um, that. Um, but you need to examine um, the information. Um, examine the information. Um, examine that. Um, and they examine the information he yes, gave. Yes, um, They examine. And they realize that it is true. But God has positioned him long time ago and he knew his And he knew that he's the one who's going to rescue the people of Israel. I winding up telling you that you need to widen uh, your revelation. You're going to look at the last and Give a hand clap to Jesus. He was looking the after the interest of the people of God. Who among you and me who are looking for the benefits of the people of God? And God knew that a person like Mordecai, even though he may be a gatekeeper, and he be looking for the benefit of Israel. God will look at him and say, I'm going to position him in that place. And when the time comes, I'm going to promote him. And the word of God tells me, humility comes to be for promotion. If God wants to promote you, uh, first he needs to put you down. Give a hand clap to him. You should accept to be humble and be promoted at the right time. And he put him at the gate. But after looking at the criterion measures, after looking at the measures, and he said, even though he's a gatekeeper, even though he is a gatekeeper, but he loves my people, give a hand clap to Jesus. And he said, even though he's not known, even though he works a while, but he works after my own interest. And indeed, Indeed. He, he did he worked for, for it. 
and he spoke to Esther and Esther spoke to the king and in the meantime there is a bad man who had conspired against the people of God Haman and in the end the, 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 the person who was despised actually he's the one who was promoted and in the meantime he came to the rescue of the people of God he came to the rescue of the king when you rejoice because of where God has positioned you when you have committed yourself without any reservation, when you have accepted where God has positioned you without any reservation, God enables you to do things beyond your job description. You do things beyond what is in your job description. Please commit yourself without any reservation. Bring your heart. Bring your body. Bring your possessions. Bring your studies. Involve. Be involved. Be involved. Be involved without any reservations. And not doing it for the sake of those who have you, but for the sake of the Lord. Please arise so that we can pray. Uri ho tugira ibikoresho byiza bikugirira mu mamaro. Nzi neza ko ntaho ubutageze. Nzi neza mwuka wera ko urenga amagambo yanje, urenga indirimbo, mwuka wera ugakora. Mwuka wera ndashima uburyo waganirije buri muntu. Ndashima uburyo watangiye kugeza ubu utwereka neza ko umurimo uwari wo wose twakora dukuriye kwinjira mu neza mwoka wera gira uko soro uyu munsi kosora aba complaining kosora abo bakoraga juste bishakira sheke yo kukweza kosora bo badehesha abandi kosora bo bajya mu kazi bakamara amasaha menshi kuri telefone no iki bakoresha internet za kazi barazimaze mwami batazi yuko witegereza uzabagororera muka wera kosoro ako kandi tugirira neza uduhembe muka wera hemba abazu wo bakorera kosoro abatari bazu wo bakorera dufashe duhindura imikorere yacu isu ushaka kuyigira neza mwami mu myanya yose ubonye abami nka ba Dawidi mwami ukabona baberusha zari ukabubigije yo ukabona mwami imana ishobora byose abantu batanga amaturo meza nkababeri mwami ukabona mwami abavunja bavunjura nkabananiya na safira ukabigiza ukavuga ngo byo simzemeye uri imana yitegereza amaturo tugutura uri imana yitegereza ubutambyi bwacu buhagaze buti uri imana ureba implication dufite mu bintu mwami na na commitment tubifitemo engagement total consécration kubiba mope uri imana izikubireba data wo mwijuru niyo mpamvu umugaragu wawe Paulo na we rimwe yabonye abantu bose bari rukibyiza aravuga ati Timoteo watebutse abantu bose bagiye mu byabo umuntu wumva iby'ubwami ni umuntu umwe ni wowe ariko mana twebwe dufite kubwinshi uyu munsi tubwiye iby'ubwami Uyo munsi tubwiye umuntu umwe ushobora gukora muri musuzuguritse ariko akunda ubwami bwawe akunda abawe akorera mwami itorero neza itorero universel utweretse umuntu umwe ushobora gutabara mwami duhe gukora birenze mu rudikayo buri muntu anyurwe naho ari pour le moment pour l'instant tube twemeye aho duteretse twitwararike tubitekereze wo Mwami ni tujya gutanga amafaranga ibya 10 nta uduhata nta udutegeka ariko mwa mukunda umutima utanga ubikunze ukunda umuntu wese mwa utanga impano ze izari zo zose azi cyakoze azi ko yubatse ubwami mwami hindura uburyo dutanga tubabarire mwami kukujugunyira lemiete tubabarire mwami kuguhi imbaraga zacu za nyuma za yura za buzuko zigira ariko fresher du matin twayijyanye mu nkuru nibindi bintu byose tubabarire mwami igihe kiza kiza tugihibindi ariko wowe tukaguha ibyarangiye 
tubabarira ishuro twabikoze mwami tubabarire gufata umunsi wo gusenga tukawugira umunsi w'ibindi bintu binezeza ya mibiri nyine ya mibiri nyine ya mibiri mwami tukajya kunezeza imitima yacu tukibagirwa aho tubona ibiryo mwami nyemera nkubwire niri uziko wavuze ngo ubwame bw'Imana so kurya so kunywa ntabwo ari fete ntabwo ari za plaisir ngo ahubwo nugukiranuka na mahoro nibyishimo mu mwuka wera ngo ukorera Imana gutyo ngo ashimwa nawe kandi ashimwa nabantu tubabarire rero mwami kwese mwa mutubabarire inshuro dukorera abantu kuruta ko tugukorera itororo ryawe mwa mu munsi rikeneye abasaruzi bameze nkuko tubwiye dukeneye abasaruzi baba bayo bwame baba bayo bwoko bwawe baba bayo abantu bawe batekereza abantu bawe dukeneye abasaruzi tubabarire imana ngaho rurakoze nyanyagiza impano rero ndagushima ko umuntu yunze na nyanyagiza impano ugatanga imbaraga ugatanga wa mwete ugatanga ibyishimo ugatanga mwami imana ishobora byose urukundo rw'inzu yawe urukundo rw'ugami bwawe urukundo rw'ibyawe urakoze ko twumva kandi tubikosoye kandi wemereye imbabazi zacu wemeye kusaba imbabazi kwacu kandi udusutse imbaraga zawe mu izina rya Yesu Kristo vuga ngo amen amen, amen. 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 amen.